All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, this week's going to be fun because we're going to go through a broad spectrum of guitar tones all in one song, all woven together masterfully. This is You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet by Bachman Turner Overdrive. So this is released, I think, in 1974, I want to say. And um, great piece of work by that band. Of course, Randy Bachman from the Guess Who. Um, this was his new band that he put together. And uh, probably one of their best known hits right here. So there's this great sort of clean rhythm guitar tone that's going on. It's actually two different guitars playing two slightly different parts. I'll walk through that. And then uh, also all the guitar leads. We'll walk through those, which is, again, completely different tones on that. So if this is the kind of thing that you like and you haven't done so already, please jump down and click subscribe, ring the bell. Bell lets you know when I drop new content, which I do every single week. All my lessons have chapters in them, so you can jump right to the part of the lesson that you want to see and bypass what you don't. And if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, I really appreciate that. There's thanks, just like throwing a tip in the tip jar. Or even better, you can join my Patreon page where I've got chord charts and tabs for all the lessons that I do on YouTube, just like this one. Link's in the description, so check it out. Okay, so you ain't seen nothing yet. There's a lot of interesting things going on, so I wanted to, to break that down for you. Okay, so we're going to start with the clean guitar, the clean rhythm guitar that's happening. It's driving uh, through the whole song pretty much. So no idea what to use, but I'm going to go with my uh, telly on my middle position. That seems to get the best sort of closest sound to what I'm hearing on the record. And by the way, for all the tones that I'm going to be using throughout the lesson, all of that's in the description, the signal chains and everything for each one of these. So you'll be able to find that detail there. So yeah, I'm going to go with... Um, this is clean, 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 clean. Um, and um, uh, there's basically two parts on this rhythm um, that gets woven together to sound sort of, it's like a one plus one equals three, like greater than the sum of its parts um, when you put them together. So um, the chords that are happening on here, um, we're not gonna play them like this, but the chords that are happening are A, G, and D for that sort of main sort of intro and the verses, okay? A, G, and D. So there's two guitars going on. Um, one of them is going to have sort of a lower, um, lower chord variation, uh, lower pitch chord variation, and the second one's going to be higher, right? So um, the way the lower one is going is you're basically playing these chord shapes. So regular old cowboy A. I believe this is the shape he's using on the G. And then a regular old D. But the trick is you're really only hitting th strings three through one, or you're very much emphasizing that. Maybe you catch string four, but you're not doing a full strum across all your strings, okay? So it's like this. You can play with that strum to be as loose as you want. I'm doing sort of right hand muting though, you notice, just to keep it all together um, and have different phrases. See as I'm hitting that. You know, that kind of thing. Now the second guitar that's playing on top of that, they're also playing A, G, and D, but they're playing slightly different um, voicings. So um, it's this A voicing, this G voicing, and then this D voicing. Again, same thing. You're just sort of emphasizing strings three through one. And then when you get to the D, you're emphasizing the triad, but he actually, you, hear, you can hear it barely, he, he does one of those where he hits that hammer on on the lower third, so you're kind of catching that a little bit. So what I do when I, when I finger it, I, I actually grab the fourth string every time just in case. I try not to hit it uh, on the A and the G, but every once in a while you do and that's fine, and if I do, I'm covered because I've got that note. Then 
and I think this one is a lot, a little more, a lot more strums that he hits. And again, I'm not, I'm trying not to hit that first string on when I go to the D. So, fun little part, right? So one's doing this. And one's doing this. Super fun. Without trying not to hit that. Anyway, so you put them together and it sounds like this. Okay, then we come to the uh, pre-chorus, I guess, um, pre-chorus section. Um, so we ended on a D. Let's go back to our lower, our lower uh, harmony guitar. So the chords that we're going to go, uh, that we're going to start our um, pre-chorus on, it's D, F, G. So all are those D-shaped triads. And then we're going to come up here to A, C sharp uh, minor, or C sharp minor seven, and F sharp minor seven, B minor seven, and then a D. So let me run through those chords again. He slides up, maybe not every time. One of the guitars does. That D, that's beautiful, right? But you're again, you're playing it loose. fun fun and then the second guitar um, will start out a little different and then it'll join it right um, so he's starting out down here right because he did his part and I think he just stays right here and then everything's the same Which then brings us to the chorus, right? So that's this is just like kick on your kick on your overdrive, and it's just a, you know, it's one five four, right? A E D. Or here. Yes, I'm That's all there is to the chorus part. So, you know, great mix of tones, right? You've got that sort of super clean thing going on, and then you got that super overdriven 70s rock sound, right? All right, then the only thing that's different is, you know, after, after it runs through all the different sort of verses and leads and everything, um, the outro is just over the, the chorus, you know, A, E, D formation and what the rhythm guitar in that, but all the guitars are playing there. You know, the, the clean rhythm's playing, the rock distorted thing is also playing, but it's all doing its A, E, D thing, right? So what's sort of different now for the rhythm guitar part is instead of doing A, G, D, during that part, it's now going to go A, E, D, right? 
it's just repeating the you ain't seen nothing yet. And the A, E, D chord changes are, are in line with the, you know, with that what's going on, right? So it's that sort of thing, but on the, with the, with the right strumming. Sounds very Doobie Brothers, right? So that's what's going on on the outro. It just does that all day long while the rock is doing. And the lead's going on. So that's, well, that is all of the sort of rhythm and chorus parts. Now let's talk about the leads. All right, so let's talk about the guitar leads now. Um, I switched guitars just to do something different for no other reason. I have no idea what guitars they used. Um, on this, but I just wanted to play something different. Um, again, signal chain will all be in the description below. Um, the main sort of things that are happening, as far as I can tell, in terms of the lead guitar tone, is there's a Leslie on sort of a slow, on the slow speed, as far as I can tell, and there's a very pronounced echo um, delay going on, and it seems to be right exactly in line with kind of the beats per minute of the song. It's, it's, 100, it's about 118 beats per minute. Um, and uh, the delay is sort of tracking right along with that, it seems like. So about like that. Okay, so like I said, there's four places on the song where the, where the lead guitar happens. And first one is on the intro, and it's all sort of going to be down here in this first position. Um, A major scale. And it's going to go all the way down to your first your first string there, right? So the way that lead goes, you're going to slide into your fifth fret here. I'm going to play it slowly, um, and you can follow along here. Here you go. Yeah, so that's the first part. So we, you couple that with the, with the rhythm guitar and it sounds like this. Now the second time the lead guitar comes in, it goes for twice as many measures as what we just learned on the first one. And we're gonna start moving our way up the up the neck a little bit to the next um sort of the next uh, a major scale position um or maybe maybe jump two positions whatever we're gonna we're gonna start on that note up there so you think of your your a chord right that one up there right so we're gonna move pretty much from there bring it back down to your sort of fifth fretish position and then and it all in first position again, um, but again over over uh, twice as many measures. So here's how that one goes. Again, I'll play it through, and then we'll look at it slowly. Okay, so coming up here to seven ninth fret on the on the east oh first string. All right, that, that little does that slide up and down. Then I'm gonna go back and do this riff that we did this little lick that we did on the intro again. So that's that's the first sort of set of measures, right? Here's the start of the second set of measures, right? That goes. Okay, and you put all that together and here's how it sounds.
Okay, now the third time the lead comes in, we're again, we're going to move up position up in the neck, and we're going to start that, I believe, up here up on the 12th fret. Um, and we're going to do an octave E to open it. Same thing, I'll play it through, and then we'll break it down slowly after. Okay, I played around a little bit with the picking on that. Okay, so let's start with the first uh, phrase. Again, this is a double, this is the same amount of measures that we had in the, in the second one. Um, so here we go. Again, that's just outlining an A chord in the sort of A major scale. That's all it is. and starting with that E octave. The second one um, starts off the same, and then we're gonna slide up to, we're gonna slide up on the second string up to our, um, our E note on the 17th fret here. Okay, and the reason we do that is because the next phrase that we do is an A octave here. So you just get your hand right in the position that, where you want it, right? And again. Beautiful, right? It's so cool how these leads, like he, the, whoever's playing the leads, it's such a contrast to all the busy strumming that's happening, you know, um, up against it. And again, totally different guitar tone. Everything just stands on its own, but just great lesson in contrast there. So you put all these together and here's what it sounds like. Okay, so all that's left is the outro. Last time, so this is the fourth time, fourth time the guitar solo or the solo guitar is gonna come in here and play, and he's gonna sort of go all over the place a little bit. He's going to start up here on 12, he's gonna go all the way down to the bottom, and he's gonna eventually come all the way up here to the sort of highest actual fret that you can get to. Same thing, I'm gonna play it all the way through, and then we'll break it down. And you get the idea, right? So let's break those down. You're going to start right here on the 12th and 14th position. Um, similar to what we just learned on, on solo number three. But we're going to start and end on that E note. Do that one time. We're going to come all the way down here to our, our open or open A, or our, our first position, A position. Um, 
slide up to 10. And then the next set of riffs is right here on the 14th and 14th through 17th fret and you're playing around that A scale, major scale right there. Beautiful. And then you're going to end, your last little riffs are going to be all the way up here. You're going to get your pinky in there. And we're going to end with a pull-off. And the pull-off is going to go from whatever the hell that fret is. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23? No. 15, 17, 19, 20, 21. 22. Okay, it's going to be on the 20, 21 fret. Down to your uh, 17th fret on 1st and 2nd string. And you're going to just pull off on the 1st string. Whoops. And pick that B string. And feel free to play whatever the hell rhythm you want. But he kind of goes mostly on the rhythm of the song. That kind of thing, right? Yeah. So you put all that together and here's how it sounds. That was You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet by Bachman Turner Overdrive. I really hope you learned something new today. And if you like what you saw, I invite you to click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell will let you know when I drop new content. I do that every single week. Give me a like too if you liked it. That helps. And let me know in the comments what you thought about this. And if there's another song you want me to take on and do, let me know what that is too. But until next week, take care everybody. Mm -hmm.